everybody, it's me, Miss You, and I'm going to start off by uh, sketching a block in 1.3.2 in which to make our holes. I'm going to go to the front view. I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to go to the rectangle, and I'm also going to select front to make it a little easier to sketch. And my, uh, I'm going to dimension it to four by two. They don't give us the number four or actually four by three. Uh, they do give us the height and we're gonna make our holes across the top. I'm next going to extrude it by two inches because it does give us the depth of the top of the shape. Okay, I'm gonna look at it isometrically and that's looking good. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a line across the top in which to make our holes. I want the line to be nice and centered, see from here. And I'm going to, so I'm selecting it. I'm going to, whoops, I deselected it. I'm going to sketch. I'm going to create my line across the top. I'm looking for the middle where there's a little square and I'm gonna bring it right across the top. Here it is. Um, I'm now gonna turn that into a construction line. Um, so it won't come out in our drawing. So I go to construction line and now the construction line is just used to guide us as opposed to being a permanent feature of the drawing. I'm next going to go to point and I'm going to put four points across the top along the line, one, two, three, and four. They don't give us the spacing, but you could approximate it. So, and once it's done, I'm going to go check. And instead of extruding, I'm gonna to go to the hole function. My first hole on the left is a through hole. Uh, it's a simple through hole with a diameter of 0.5. So there's nothing there for me to change. I'm going to select it and I'm going, so that looks good. And I'm going to go check and it got extruded. I'm now going to go back to sketch number two so I could get the position of my second hole, which is over here. And this one is less simple. I'm now going to exit the sketch. Once I select it, I'm going to exit the sketch. I'm going to go to hole. Okay, and it is no longer a simple hole, but it is a um, counter bore. So instead of simple, I'm going to go counter bore. Once I have it set up as counter bore, I'm looking at the dimensions and the diameter across the top is 0.375. So I'm going to change what I have. Uh, point. three, seven, five. I wanna say that it's not a through hole, right? It's a blind hole. So I'm gonna actually change that to blind. Uh, so the dimension, that didn't change. Now the uh, dimension, the diameter of the top part of the bore itself is 0.5. And the diameter over here across the top is 0.75. This is 0.5. And of course, the height is 2. Okay. So take a look. Adjust your drawing. So it's the height of the bore, the width of the bore, and there we go. So we just finished our second hole. We're now gonna go back to sketch number two. I'm gonna select the third one, which of course is a countersink. Now I'm gonna exit the sketch. I'm gonna go to the hole. 
and instead of a counter bore, it is a counter sink. Um, it is not blind. It is, it actually is blind, excuse me. Um, it is two, it is 2.25 inches in length. So I'm going to change that. The degrees is 82. So I'm going to change that. The uh, width across the top is one inch. That's the diameter of the bore. And then the diameter of the hole is 0.25. And I'm going to go check. So I'm actually going to move the location. I see that I had them interfering with each other. I think I'm going to move the location of the second one. So I'm just going to take the point. Does it move? It does not. OK. We're going to leave it that way. There's a little bit of interference. Now I'm going to go back, back to sketch number two. and. I'm going to select it. I'm going to now exit my sketch. And I actually don't like where this hole is located. I'm going to go back to my sketch, sketch number two. And I'm going to delete this point, <coughs> delete sketch entity. And I'm going to move it a little bit over closer to the edge to make sure I have enough room. I'm taking the point and I want to give myself enough room. I'm going to go right here. And that should give me enough room. Hopefully I won't go off the edge. So now I'm going to select it. I'm going to leave the sketch. There, leave the sketch once it's selected. I'm going to go to the whole feature. Um, it is a, what kind of hole is it? Looking at the drawing, it is a counter bore. So I'm going to go, so that shows counter sink. I'm going to show a counter bore. Um, the hole itself, the diameter is 0.5. The width of the bore is 0.75. The height of the bore is 0.65. And it goes through. So I'm going to change it from blind to through. And I'm going to go check and it is completed. From here, we're going to do the multi view and that will be on the next video.